And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gang of Plank Burn. This is definitely one of the best decks in the format right now and uh, one we're going to try out. Something that, that you probably play against a whole bunch. Um, we're going to be real aggressive with Noxus and Bilgewater. Misfortune and Gangplank going to be our champions here. Deciding to go with a couple of Crimson Disciples. Still, I, I still think the Crimson Disciples a good card, especially with Transfusion. And I like Transfusion quite a bit. So kind of going a little old school with my list with two Crimson Disciple, two Transfusion, and a Captain Farron. I'm not sure if like one of those should be the third Gangplank or not. Like like maybe just one Crimson Disciple. But I like I definitely like Transfusion and Captain Farron's a great way to close out games. Um some people play like more Captain Farron's and more um Jack the Winners. That's something you could see. Uh, but I'm gonna be going with this and trying this out. So let's get our aggro on. Let's play some games. We're gonna be playing five games over in ranked, like we always do. Seeing how we do. And that's going to be about it. So here we go, Gangplank Burn. After this, our Mountain Diana deck is Mountain Scryer, the Targon Allegiance card with Diana. We're going to be having an Invoke deck, a Diana Invoke deck. Um, you know, Nightfall, Invoke, all that stuff. That deck's going to be a little slower than this one. So with these, I, I need, definitely need to worry about Radiant Guardian with, with this kind of deck. So Radiant Guardian is what we're going to be looking out for. Mega Rain, I don't know if we need it. I'm going to mulligan it. I'm going to keep the triple one drop, <coughs> quadruple one drop. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Follow the horizon. So they could have they could have another Solari card here on turn two, which would be bad for me. Alright, so basically because I'm worried about another Solari card. Yeah, see they they would have the three three. So if I would have gone saboteur or saboteur, they would have had the, the three three. By getting the by just attacking first. They can't block. And now I get double Jagged Butcher. My 3-3s match up against their 2-2s. Two two and now we'll just play the two Saboteurs. Next turn I can play Sprayfin, attune, get the mana, and still have the mana for Transfusion. Explosives Prime. But I should probably go straight to attacks before they play a Leona that's a 3-5 and stuns. Oh, don't have single combat. No. Alright, they had it. Had an awesome hand. All three of their one mana cards, and the uh, the two mana three six and a single combat. They they did have an awesome hand. All right, so likely Radiant Guardian here, right? That they want to play. So that's what I thought. Maybe not. Is this a summon? Okay, yeah, that's a plunder. That's not a summon. Let's do this. My turn. Gaze into the light. Hmm. All right, so this will put them down to eight. So transfusion can do three. 
Put him down to five. Problem making this thing a four four. Okay. I was gonna say the problem making that thing a four four is that then I didn't get to strike for justice. Yeah, this is the way to go. Sorry, I didn't, like, if they would have had single combat there, I didn't get to Noxion forever, but... Um, it did have the Radiant Guardian. I guess... So, I was supposed to... Okay, I was definitely expecting Radiant Guardian. So, this was a, a misplay by me. Yeah, like, so this is just a misplay by me. Not this turn, the previous turn. How I let their 2-2 die. I should have Noxion fervored and killed my thing that was... Um, my thing that was killing there too, too. I should not have let those trade. My it was my petty officer. I should have noxion fervor my petty officer last turn. So that was a mistake by me. Her hand was awesome, but I should have won this. So without Radiant Guardian, they wouldn't have a chance. Okay. That gives us a chance. Additional three damage to me? Probably not, right? They didn't just single combat or anything like that there. No! Only doing one damage to them. Alright, down to one. Hopefully that's just a bunch of Daybreak cards and Aurelian Soul. Not that Daybreak card. So close. Come on, Sprayfin. Protect our people. Good. You have that card. The Ooh, still got there. Bear elite. Bear. I need to just do a better job against Radiant Guardian, right? Like I, t I talked about that at the beginning that they're gonna have that. I should not have let their thing die and let them Radiant Guardian that, that turn. Really want to find a one drop. Cool. This is a good one drop too because we are able to Demolitionist this thing and do two damage to them. And before they play a blocker, I have my orders. War Mason, reporting for duty. Got the mirror match. For 
fortune favors the bold. What? There we go. Well, that's one fantasy come true. Love ya. All right, I'm going to not block so that I could, can come right back and do the same attacking. Oh, no. Ugh. That hurt, killing my 2-1. That's got to be right to play Petty Officer first. So we do end up trading this fortune. I took some extra damage to be able to get all this extra damage in in our race. Just gonna take all this, go to eight. Yep. Okay, so we got Gangplank. Gangplank's champion spell is... Um, play. Let's see. So Gangplank's champion spell is Parlay. We just get to challenge my Powder Keg, and I'm kind of sad about that. I'm trying to think if there's like a better thing for me to do to keep them from challenging that. I'll cut my name to you. Try and won't do any good. No, I guess if I do that then I won't have parlay anymore. I'll cut my name to you. Six. Could definitely die from six. Say your farewells. Definitely hoping no noxion fervor. Good. Because I could like fervor that in response and kill my gangplank. Don't you dare run. All right, definitely like my definitely like my uh, chance of winning this, putting them down to one. And then we got demolitionist, fervor, grenadier. We got all this stuff. You and me, let's go. Don't you dare run. I don't think they can. Like if they go down to one, I don't think they stop grenadier. Um, plus fervor. Cowards. They could stop Demolitionist. But Grenadier, you know, like their only way to stop it is to kill it. And if they kill it, they die. So this is just going to be game. You're going to say play two Riptide Rex in this list. Not sure if we need Riptide Rex. I don't know. Riptide Rex is amazing. All right, combining both of the two new buffed-up champions, Lee Sin itself buffed, and then Heimerdinger buffed with the Flash of Brilliance change. Problem here is I don't get to actually cast Demolitionist. Can't cast it on Precious Pat. Good chance I should be mulliganing Gangplank also. Oh man, withdrawing both of those, I definitely wish I would have mulliganed Gang Gangplank. All right, good. Fill that curve. 
Yeah, it is, Jink. Yeah, um, the streaming and, um, and making videos for YouTube. Okay, had some online classes earlier and then just had lunch. That's a good day. Being nice and productive. The spirit gives to those who listen. Like, cool, get to meet a friend you haven't seen in a while. I like it, all sounds good. No. Shadow Fiend, stop being so ephemeral. Ugh. Petty Officer traded completely with Mystic Shot. That is not good for us. Not good at all. Um. Like a fish in water. <laughs> hmm. Let's do this. All right, good hand. Good hand for them. Some more one drops out here. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Definitely just played two cards with the mushroom clouds. Yeah. Oh, that's a harvest right there. I kind of think I'm supposed to noxion fervor and just kill one of these Eye of the Dragons so they don't keep getting these dragglings. And then they can respond with a mystic shot. No, maybe not. I can just attack um, with Precious Pets and Zap Spray Fin. I mean, I I don't think I can auction fervor upstairs because they just they're just gonna keep generating. These dragglings. Oh, do you want to get back to work? Do I have to double Noxion Fervor and kill their eye of the dragons? And they're still at 15. That's tough. It's not what I wanted to be doing this turn at all. Now I don't have any answers for Heimerdinger. Okay, good hand. This is where we could use Captain Farron. Force is meaningless without skill. And savagery without grace. Come on, Captain Farron. He started without me. Conflict is all in the mind. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Oh. Conflict is all in the mind. The dragon spirit awakens. Well, it's most likely game. If play Decimate next turn, it will level up Gangplank. So I'll just wait. My lands need me. Our 
enemies cannot hide. I will not hold back. Center your spirit. Yeah, at least it does 6 damage to us. Alright. Great hand. Great hand. GG's. To defeat, to defeat this deck. This deck is just really, really good. Really solid. We see how we're playing a second mirror match. Now. Does take quite a bit to defeat this deck. Alright, awesome hand. Good 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop. We got Misfortune as well. Gonna keep it all. They do have the attack token on turn three, or, you know, they have the attack token turn one, turn three, which is really what you want, what you really, really want, um, being able to attack the turn you play Petty Officer in Misfortune. Alright, the 3-3 three, three covers up their 2-1, unless they play Misfortune. In which case, we'll have, like, the Petty Officer be able to uh, trade instead. Looking for trouble? It found you. Rock if you work, run if you don't! All right, Open Hawk's not the, not the worst one drop. You picked the losing side! I guess maybe I don't block because I have my own Misfortune. So I take two damage here to make it so they can't block with that. The who's the the buffed one? Oh, the new yeah, the new one drop. No, yeah, we're not playing the new one drop. Hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. The sea beasts of Fera. Jagged Taskmaster is awesome, though. The two three can't eat my one one, but that's okay. A lot of damage coming in. Now the Crackshot Corsair is. I think that's a good one drop for Bilge Water in other regions besides Noxus. I think with Noxus, you still just would rather have. The other two Noxus one drops with the the fearsome spider and the Legion Saboteur, but playing like Bilgewater and like Freljord, for example, I'm probably more interested in playing uh, that one drop. Yeah, I think I'd probably rather have that the new buffed up one drop over the one one fearsome elusive. So they have an extra card in hand than I do. I have the better board, they have less life, but they have the attack token and they have an additional card. So probably gonna go Grenadier, Grenadier this turn. So we don't waste the powder keg with them just challenging the powder keg. Next turn I go Grenadier, plus Noxion Fervor available. So I'm expecting them to attack. Yeah, especially with Crackshot Corsair. Alright, so that trade's there. This trade's here. This trade's here. Jagged Butcher is awesome. Or not Jagged Butcher, sorry, Jagged Taskmaster. That card's awesome. Dead men tell my tale. I rarely forget, I never forget. Something for him! I'm gonna gut you. I'm down to four. Perfect. I'll do five, and there we go. GG's. Three and one. This'll do for now. 
I honestly think that like a 3-2 and then only do one damage is better than a 3-1 that does two damage. Um, it's just so it's it's much more difficult to kill a 3-2, and a 3-2 body is just a lot better, like that that one extra health. I like it more. Alright, playing against Nightfall. This is kind of an awkward hand. I think I'm gonna be mulliganing the gangplank and the fervor. You can definitely see the fervor being really good against both of these champions, though. Okay, we get another fervor back. <laughs> so we mulligan. You know, I wanted a one-mana card also. Obviously, we have the attack token on turn one, so finding one of our one-drops would have been really nice. All solar fear the truth. For truth. All right, so Misfortune or... Grenadier and keep Transfusion available. I'm one of the good guys. It's gotta be Misfortune, right? I know she's not that good, but... Who's gonna get in my way? Well, Pell Cascade... Would be, like, their first spell? Not okay, cool. Love It's past priority to me. Oh, was I supposed to just take the priority and, and run with it and attack for four with Misfortune again? I wonder why they just passed priority to me the first time. Instead of simply doing this. Diana is only a 2-2 as far as Challenger goes. Oh, but then Diana plus Pale Cascade. Like that. Alright, I shouldn't have played this demolition, so I should have kept kept these spells up. But Diana plus Pale Cascade, but not punished. So they want me to block here so that then they are going to kill the demolitionist. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Um, I guess that's... Yeah, that's fine. I should have passed priority with them and just gone right to my attacks. It's turn five. We're still a ways away from playing Captain Terran. damage to me. <clears throat> Alright, so I can I can transfusion and buff up my Jagged Butcher to be like a 5-5 five five and then and and then Noxion Fervor it so then we're not losing the misfortune. Could also just take this. It's 12. Um, the problem of course they have the 3-2 the drains, right? So I guess we'd have to kill them the next turn. Maybe it's better just to do this. We would definitely have to kill them the next turn, which could be possible. Gangplank's at three. And 
not leveling up Misfortune. Misfortune's going to be a... It's going to be 3 out of 4, but not going to be able to level it up. So I'm down to 5. Transfusion could put him down to 3. Mega Rain put him down to 2. Definitely worried about another Cygnus the Moonstalker. Night flowers upon my blade. I don't know. Maybe I should have just taken the five damage, had the extra two one. No, because then they would have the extra blockers. They would just be able to block it, but then I would have the fervor that would go upstairs and the transfusion that could have been five damage upstairs. Um, but then maybe we don't maybe we're not able to play uh, Petty Officer at that time. Temperamental as moonlight. They have another Cygnus. I guess I'm dead. I could still have another Cygnus. Oh wait, wait, wait! I have, I have a blocker. I have Prowling Cutthroat. I forgot about that blocker. Sorry, my microphone. It's kind of like behind my microphone. I forgot about that. Okay, we're not just dead to Cygnus. Cool. Attack out puts me to one, which they kind of have to do. Alright, so I can either save Misfortune, which makes my open attack better, or I can block over here and cast Make It Rain and try to not go down to one. Um, Unspeakable Horror is about the, the... that's like the only card that I'm worried about, I suppose, right? Easy, Tiger. Hold it, yeah, I think I think we, we block and do this, actually. Awesome. Alright, staying at three. Make it interesting for me. Sorry, Miss Fortune. We can we can finish the game without you. Because otherwise, not only um, not only unspeakable horror, but also like stalking shadows. They draw that and then hit the, the three two. Uh, like hit another doom beast off stalking shadows. That could could have been a problem as well. There we go, 4-1. GG's. So yeah, this deck's very solid. Uh, we finally got to do something with the Captain Fair in there that last game. Um, but yeah, just a really solid deck. Um, yeah, I like these Crimson Disciples, but... It's a good call. We, both, both people in the mirror did have Jagged Taskmaster instead. Um... Which I could see that. I mean, well, not. I guess one person wasn't really a mirror match because they were playing Powder Monkeys. They were playing Monkey Idol and stuff. But still, we got nine one drops. We also have Petty Officer that makes one drop. So we have 12 cards that make one drops. So you could play Jagged Taskmaster there. I like Crimson Disciple. That card is really good. Transfusion was good for us in, in a lot of spots of keeping stuff alive and things like that. But there we go. That's Gangplank Burn. Real good quality deck here. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. If you've been playing this deck, let me know what you think of these kind of flex slots with the Crimson Disciple, the Captain Farron, um, Transfusion, and those kind of cards. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of those those flex slots there. And just anything else, you know, what do you want to see on the channel? Um, you know, whatever else. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. So I'm Gangplank Burn, and I'll see you for the next video.